Hi, Pastor Hayden here from Bible Baptist Church. I want to take a minute once again, and I want to show you another tip that you can use in your own personal Bible study. When you talk, to, talk about Bible study with a lot of people, they tend to equate Bible study with commentaries, books written by preachers or theologians that explain the Bible. Now, I don't want to down commentaries. Commentaries are great. You know, I, I own a lot of them and I use them. But there are a couple problems with commentaries. The first problem with commentaries is they cost a lot of money. They can be really expensive. The second problem with commentaries is they're written by men. And so just as men can mislead you, uh, commentaries can misread you, mislead you because they're just the opinions of men at best. A long time ago, someone told me the best commentary on the Bible is the Bible. You know, sometimes when you're reading a book and you're really struggling to understand what the author is getting at, uh, sometimes it helps to read what the author has written previously or what the author has written after the fact and kind of try to understand the author by reading his other works. And that'll help you understand that passage. I think the same thing is true with the Bible. You know, as we struggle to understand parts of the Bible, sometimes the best thing for us to do is to look at other parts of the Bible that the Holy Spirit has inspired and get information that way. Well, how do you do that? The way that Bible students do that is through something called cross-references. Now, cross-references are, uh, if you have your Bible and you look down the center of the Bible, you see like a little column uh, between, between lines usually, between the two columns of verses. That, the, 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 the things in between those are called so what are cross-references? Cross-references are verses of Scripture that pertain to the verse that you're looking at now. The most common way to find cross-references is if you open up your Bible, usually in the center of the Bible, uh, between the two columns of verses, there's usually a bunch of little references, Scripture references, and those are cross-references. You can look at a verse, you can usually see a letter or a number next to that verse, find that corresponding letter or number in that column, and use your Bible to go to other verses that kind of correspond to the one that you're reading. Well, that's limited. You know, they're very, very small. There's not a lot of references that you can fit in there. Um, a, a long time ago, I found this book called The Treasury of Scripture Knowledge. I mean, it is a huge book. It was like this big. And you open it up and it's got this tiny, tight print. I mean, the tiniest, tightest print you've ever seen in a book. But that book boasts of having 350,000 plus cross-references. That means for every verse in the Bible, every single one, there's over a dozen cross-references. And it's organized like a Bible. So you'd open it up, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, and it would be on the first page. And instead of having that verse for Genesis 1, 1, it would just have a word or two to recognize the phrases in that verse, and then a bunch of cross-references. Very, very helpful thing. R.A. Torrey, who is probably one of the most famous uh, preachers of the last century, he said that of all the Bible study tools that he knew that was available, the one that he thought was the most important was the treasury of scripture knowledge. So when I first got my treasury of scripture knowledge, I mean, it was my favorite tool. I would have that thing and I would have two or three Bibles and I'd open them up and I'd have to take out a pen and write down all of the references for the verse that I was studying. And then I have to look those references up in each Bible. And then if I wanted to use them, I'd have to write the verses down. And it, it was great because it helped me a lot, but it was a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. Now, I wanna show you how to do cross references but I'm not going to ask you to do all that work, okay? I'm going to show you a very simple thing. Uh, it's way easier now because of the internet and because of a site that I've already showed you called blueletterbible.org. So let me show you how to do a Bible word study using blueletterbible.org. First thing you want to do is you want to open blueletterbible.org, okay? You want to type in the verse that you want to go to. So let's just say John 3, 16. I'm going to type that in. Um, and then you find that, that verse in the uh, passage view here, okay? Now, next to the verse, we've already talked about this, there is a tools button. You want to click on that tools button. And when you press it, you'll see a box that pops up below the verse. And, and it's got tabs across the top of it. The first tab is interlinear. The second tab is Bibles. The third tab is cross-references. It just says cross-refs. Let's click on that tab and show and, and see what it shows us. 
You'll notice that for John 3.16, there are dozens, well, maybe a little bit less than dozens, but there are many, many cross-references for John 3.16. What this is, is the treasury of scripture knowledge. It's baked into Blue Letter Bible. You don't have to go and buy the treasury of scripture knowledge and open it up and look at these things. You can just press the tools button and you're literally two clicks away on Blue Letter Bible from all of those references. You don't have to look them all up in individual Bibles and write them all down. They're right there for you. And let me show you one more cool trick while we're talking about this. If you wanted to use this in a Sunday school handout or you wanted to use this uh, in sermon notes or something like that, Next to the verses that are there, and this is the same, this same thing goes for the, the actual verse view too, you'll notice that there's this little box, this little blank box next to each verse, and you can actually check those boxes by clicking on them. You don't have to go in order. Uh, you can skip some if you want to, but you can check these that, that you're clicking on, and then you can go up to the top after you've checked all the ones that you want to use, and you can click the copy button. It's underneath the blue letter Bible logo. Click the copy button, and that is going to put those verses and the references in your clipboard. And then you can go to a text editor or you can go to um, Microsoft Word or Pages or whatever you're using. And you can paste those verses and you can use them with their references in your Sunday School material. Really cool. This is going to help you with your Bible study. It's going to save you time if you're already doing uh, cross-reference Bible studies. And I, I really hope this was a blessing. I'll be coming back with some more Bible study tips uh, in the coming weeks, so just keep checking back. Thanks.